Number four in 88 Films Asia range is House of Traps, the official last movie starring all of the five Venoms, a group of actors who are quite noticeable through the late 70s and early 80s into these kind of movies. And the House of Traps is, well, as you would guess, about a house that's filled with traps. Uh, we have two factions here, we have the current rulers who are in charge and we have somebody who wants to usurp them and take over uh, that and he's using the House of Traps to keep valuable information safe and secure. And of course we have several people attacking the House of Traps trying to get to the information and dying horribly throughout the movie. It is a movie that is really heavy on exposition, on plot, on characters and a little bit lighter on the traps than I would have liked. Still, it's nice to see all these actors and characters doing what they do best, but ultimately I feel that the movie is, is way too complex for what it is. There is a lot of characters going on here, so much so that I was starting to get confused in who was who and what they were up to and their possible machinations and who was really a spy and acting as if they were, weren't a spy and who was double-crossing whom and Ooh, even talking about it now, it seems way complicated uh, and more complicated than it should have been. House of Traps works its best when it's doing its kung fu magic, when it has people in the traps being uh, killed by these various traps. And I like the way it's set up. We get one person initially who is killed. We get the ne next person in who uh, manages to avoid the first couple of traps and gets hit with the next one. Uh, and then we get the third person who gets a little bit further. It, it constantly pushes uh, the expectations and I like the house, the design of it, the characters, particularly the Kung Fu action is pretty chop socky tastic and it, it's the, the points in the movie where it's at its best. Unfortunately, there isn't enough here to really keep me super interested in a lot of what's going on. Of course, when we get to the climactic end, everything ramps up and it comes to a really wonderful conclusion. We get a great attack on the House of Traps. We get a group of people working together to take it down because of some of the ramifications that's happened in the movie. And it's just it's just the plot that leaves this one hanging a little bit. The production design is wonderful. Uh, the costuming that people use is great. I think there are way too many characters, um, a, a lot of whom uh, are superfluous to what is needed within the film, a lot of whom look very similar uh, and I confuse two characters quite often, particularly through the movie, because they were dressed identical as well. But I loved some of the just wackiness that we have in here, because there is wacky moments. We get uh, a moment when someone is being tortured and they get flung on a bed of nails and then thoroughly uh, kicked around on the floor afterwards. Um, at which point I thought the character was dead, but he appears later on with a rather perforated chest. Uh, but that's just wonderfully over the top and bloody. The action and fight scenes, the choreography is super fun. This is the kind of kung fu that I, I really enjoy watching them do. It's very choreographed, but it looks just wonderful. It's a ballet of violence that I really do kind of like. Uh, like I said, the production standards are great. It's just the story. The story is too much in the House of Traps. The House of Traps itself is wonderful. I wish there was more traps. I wish there was more action. I wish there was more chop socky stuff rather than the conversations and the tale at the heart of this one. I would still recommend it because I think it's a worthwhile piece of entertainment. Just don't feel overwhelmed when you start to lose who is who uh, and which character is doing what. House of Traps. Fun. I'd love to know your thoughts on the movie. Let me know in the comment box below and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.